Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord for being here. One more day. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody. We welcome you out. 1738 Coney Street, Columbia, South Carolina. We are the Bible Church of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we welcome you. Hallelujah. Those that are online, hallelujah. We welcome you. Hallelujah. We thank and praise the Lord for our pastor here, Bishop Isaiah Anderson. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise for him. Amen. And his wife, hallelujah. Thank and praise the Lord for her and the family. Hallelujah. We thank and praise the Lord for Elder Palmer. We thank and praise the Lord for him being in attendance on today. He'll be bringing forth the bread of life on today. Amen. Myself, we're here. And Minister Scott, amen. And his wife and family. Elder Furtick in his absence, amen. We thank and praise the Lord for Mother Moore, amen. Thank and praise the Lord, amen. For Mother Washington also over the Usher Department, amen. Thank and praise the Lord for all the deacons and all the elders. Deacon um, LeBrew, he's in his absence. We thank and praise the Lord for him. Amen. For all the brethren, all the mothers, all the saints of God. And we thank and praise the Lord for you that are online. It's time for us to praise God. Hallelujah. We, was, we entered in his gates with thanksgiving, amen. And to his courts with praise, hallelujah. It's time. We couldn't do it at home the way we wanted to. We couldn't do it on the job. Hallelujah. But now we're here in the sanctuary. Can we give the Lord some praise? Amen. For his goodness. For his mercy. For his acts toward the children of men. We thank and praise the Lord for you, you, and especially you. Amen. It's a blessing to be here. And we thank God for you. Amen. Let us have our first opening song. Amen. By the choir. Amen. We'll turn it over to them.
He's worthy. He alone. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's the worthy God. Hallelujah. That keep it coming. Hallelujah. For 10,000 generations of them that love us. Hallelujah. We are the people of God. Hallelujah. We should worship our God. Hallelujah. Why? Because he's worthy the glory, Amen. worthy of the honor, worthy of the praise, hallelujah. Amen. He's worthy, hallelujah. Well, shout out, I said it. He's not fit to let us live, hallelujah. He's not fit to let us come out, hallelujah. He's not fit to let us assemble ourselves together one more time, hallelujah. He's worthy, hallelujah. Don't you love him, hallelujah. If you love him, give him praise, hallelujah. If you love him, hallelujah, give him the honor, hallelujah. This is the holy place, hallelujah. This is the holy place, hallelujah. And God is worthy, hallelujah. He reigns supreme. He's the king, hallelujah. He's the king, hallelujah. Thank you. didn't have to let us live, hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, hallelujah. He saw fit, hallelujah. We just honor him for that, hallelujah. We thank and praise the Lord. Give the Lord another hand of praise for the choir on this morning with the opening selection, amen. We're entering into a part that everyone can participate in, amen. Amen. It's time for, for prayer, amen. Amen. We do thank and praise the Lord for all the prayer requests that we have, amen. Please always keep our pastor, Bishop Anderson, and his family in prayer, amen. amen. Pray for Elder Furtick and his family, amen. amen. Definitely pray for Elder Wayne Palmer. He's going to be bringing forth the bread of life on today, amen. amen. Pray for me and my family, amen. 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 Pray for Minister Scott and his family. Amen. Deacon LeBru, amen. Pray for Mother Nora White, amen. Brother Cooper, Jr., and his family, amen. We pray for Mother Louise Jacobs, amen. Pray for Angela Boyd, amen. Pray for Eugene Patterson, Jr., amen. Sister Shakita Nelson, amen. Definitely keep the new converts in prayer. We thank and praise the Lord for them. They're beginning this walk, amen. They need help, they need prayer, amen. Pray for the sick that are not here, amen, on this list, amen. We also have a special prayer request for Sister Lindsay uh, Cece, amen, for healing, amen. amen. Men should always pray, amen, and faint not, amen. We thank and praise the Lord, amen. And after the prayer song, we'll be led in the word of prayer, amen. Jesus, Jesus. He's the only one that can help you yes. if you go. Precious Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, we thank you, O Lord, for this another day, O Lord. Lord God, a day that was not promised unto us, O Lord. But Lord God, you saw fit to wake us up this morning, O God. Clothed in our right mind, O Lord, with a mind to say thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Thank you for your grace toward us, O God, today. Thank you for safeguarding us and watching over us last night. 
as we slept and slumbered, O Lord, in the very image of death, O Lord. Lord, you protected us from danger seen and unseen, O Lord. Thank you for your grace toward us, O God. Thank you for all the provisions you give us, O God. Day by day, Lord God, you give us shelter, Lord God. You give us food, O God. You give us jobs, O God, that we can travel to and from, O Lord. You give us grace up and down the dangerous roads and highways, O Lord. Lord God, you dispatch your angels to watch over us, O Lord. And Lord, we just thank you today for, for all the things that you give us, O God, so freely, Lord God. You're the great God, hallelujah, that heals all of our infirmities, O God, and all of our illnesses, O God. We call upon you right now, Lord God. For those, O God, that are sick in the hospitals, O God, would you go by, Lord God, and visit them, O Lord. Would you heal as only you can, O God. You're the mighty God, hallelujah, that healeth all our diseases and all our infirmities, O God. Touch and heal as only you can, O Lord. Lord, you know what we stand in need of, O oh God. So touch and bless those that are in the nursing homes. Those, O oh God, that are sick at home, O oh Lord. Those, O oh God, that are here in the midst today, Lord God, not feeling good in the bodies, O oh God. Lord God, would you touch and heal, O oh God. Hallelujah. You stretch forth your hand, O oh God, and virtue went out, O oh God. And you heal them all, O oh God. Heal, O oh God, as only you can, O oh Lord. Touch those, O oh God, that are behind the prison walls, O oh God. Those, O oh God, that are on foreign soil in the military. And bless, bless your people, Israel, O oh God, in this hour. Touch, Lord God, right now and bless our pastor, O oh God, in a special way. Strengthen the man of God, hallelujah. Anoint the man of God and continue to give him wisdom and knowledge, O oh God, to, live, to lead this thy great people, O oh God. Touch and bless the man of God that's going to bring forth the bread of life unto today, O oh God. Give him in the well of knowledge and wisdom, O oh God, that he may impart truth unto this, your great people, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to walk obedient to your will, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, with a sincere heart to believe you, O oh God, in all things, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to trust you, hallelujah, in the hard places in our lives, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to stand, hallelujah, against the wiles of the devil. Help us, O oh God, to do that which is true and right always, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to rejoice always. And, and again, I say, rejoice in the Lord, hallelujah. For, Lord, you've been good to us. Lord, you've been good to us, hallelujah. Lord, you've been better than we deserve. Hallelujah, we thank you right now. We thank you for the protection of your precious blood, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for seeing fit to keep us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for saving us out of a world of sin and darkness, oh God. We thank you, Lord, right now, hallelujah. For you're the God, hallelujah. You remember your covenant, hallelujah. You're keeping us, oh God. You're protecting us, oh God. You're strengthening us, oh God, from day to day, hallelujah. You're the God, hallelujah, that keep our people, hallelujah. Keep us, oh God. With a mind to believe you, Lord. With a mind to trust you till the end, oh God. Help us right now, Lord God, to rejoice today, hallelujah. And believe you in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. And the choir song, and the choir will have the after prayer selection.
Amen. How many are willing to let God finish? Amen. He that has begun a good work in you is faithful to do that now. God is going to finish the work. Hallelujah. You have to finish You have to be the one to say, Lord, keep on working on me, Lord. Keep on, Lord. Hallelujah. It don't feel good right now, but keep on working, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you finish. Hallelujah. Because I want to be gold for you. I want to be pure gold for you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Give the Lord another hand of praise. Amen. Amen. For, for the choir on the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have our very own Minister Scott come forth with our scripture reading on today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank the Lord for all his blessings. Yes. Amen. All his blessings. Good God. Hallelujah. And just think about all the prayers that went up before the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he hears your prayers. Yes, he does. He hears your prayers. And just our scripture reading will be coming from Second Chronicles. Uh, Second Chronicles 7, and we're going to start at that 12th verse. And this is what the reason on this wise. And the Lord appealed to Solomon oh, yeah. by night. Yes. And said unto him, yeah. I have heard thy prayers. Yes. I have chosen this place to myself for this for an house of sacrifice. Yeah. If I shut up heavens that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land. If I send pestilence among my people, if my people, if my people, if my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. And then Hallelujah. I will hear from heaven yes, and I forgive their sins Hallelujah. and I will heal, heal their land. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Amen. 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 How many have been baptized in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Amen. Show of hands. How many have been baptized? You are the people of God. If my people is what the word says, amen. My people. Which are called by my name. The name of the Lord. The name of God is Jesus. Jesus is his name. Hallelujah. Humble themselves. Amen. Turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. Then. Oh, we serve a good God. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank and praise the Lord for the reading of scripture. Amen. At this time, it's another portion of service. Amen. Yes. Where we all can participate. Amen. Yes. It's offering time. Amen. Amen. It's offering time in the temple on thank today. You, Hallelujah. Get a good offering in your hand. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. For the Lord loveth yes. a cheerful giver. Yes, Amen. He does. A cheerful giver. Amen. That's what's written. Yes, I, 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 I held in right there. Amen. Amen. So we love the Lord and we thank and praise the Lord again. Thank you. Amen. Yes, Lord. And bear your hearts forgiven. Amen. Amen. At this time, amen.
Precious Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, we ask that you would just bless this thy great people, O oh Lord. Continue to bless them, O oh God, and we, we thank you, Lord God, for the offerings and the, and the, and the tithing, O oh God. Bless them, O oh Lord, and give them the increase, O oh God, as only you can, O oh God. Call us to be the head and not the tail above and not beneath, yes. O oh God. Bless them, O oh Lord, as they come forth and give in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. At this time... Lord saints and welcome to the Bible Church of our Lord Jesus Christ we praise the Lord for all of you being here in person and virtually and we also praise the Lord for all of our guests yeah. Bishop Anderson would like to have a member only church meeting immediately following service today we will not be having our five o'clock praise and testimony service this evening. Tuesday night is Bible class at seven o'clock, and on Thursday night is prayer and tarrying service at seven o'clock. Wednesday mornings at 10 o'clock, prayer is held here at the church. Our church and pastor anniversary celebration will be next Sunday. December 17th at 11 o'clock. The guest speaker will be Bishop Dade, and the colors are gray and purple. The theme is Running Back to You, coming from Zechariah 1 and 3. Yes. Our fifth weekend fellowship weekend will be Saturday, December 30th. Amen. Amen. Service will begin at 12 o'clock on that Saturday. And then we'll also be having Sunday, December 31st, beginning at 11 o'clock here at the Bible Church. Our New Year's Eve service will be Sunday, December 31st at 10 o'clock p.m. For anyone interested in joining the usher board, please see Mother Washington. Elder Palmer and Mother Norman will be collecting men, women, boys and girls hats and gloves for the Community Outreach and Care Team Ministries. There will be a drop box in the lobby, and if you would like to donate money, 
please see Elder Palmer. This will be going on now through January. And we'd also like to read a card. It says, with thanks. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. I wanted you to know. It means so very much to me. I just had to tell you so. The Bible Church Care Team. Praise the Lord. I received your lovely card today and was both pleasantly surprised and grateful. It is a blessing to be thought of in a happy way. Many thanks to all of you. In Christian love, Mother Nora White. We pray happy birthday blessings on Thursday, December 14th for Brother Robert Jones. <laughs> May the Lord... <laughs> May the Lord bless you on your special day and always. <laughs> this will conclude our announcements. The Bible Church is a place where everyone is made to feel at home. Whether you're a saint of God or a guest, we thank you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord again, everybody. Praise Amen. The Lord. We thank and praise the Lord for, for the announcements that's read. That let us govern ourselves accordingly. Amen. 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 We thank and praise the Lord. It's time. Amen. It's time for the bread of life to come forth. Amen. Amen. I love the word of God. Amen. For it is the word of God that compelled me out of the world of sin and darkness. Amen. We thank and praise the Lord for the man servant that's going to bring forth the word on today. But before he comes, amen, that's in the first of our very own Elder Palmer. Amen. Before he comes, we're going to have another selection from the choir. Give the Lord another hand of praise for them. As the, as the choir renders another selection in the next voice you hear will be that in the person of our very own Elder Wayne Palmer. He's my mother and my father and I won't take He's my sister and my brother and I He's my shelter in the time of storm I won't take He has been so good
He's been so good. He's been so good. He's been my mother. He's been my father. He's been a lawyer. He's been a doctor. He's everything to me. God is just so good to me. So good. And I won't take it back. I said I won't take it back. God has been too good to me. Hallelujah. I said he's been too good to me. Hey God, I praise you. Woo! And I won't take it back. Oh, we give him praise. We give him praise. I tell him thank you on this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad that he's been so good. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I come to give him praise because he has been so good. Thank God for the witness in the house. <laughs> Thank God for the witnesses. That you're not ashamed to let somebody know that God is a good God. That God is a good God. When I couldn't see my way, God brought me out. When I was on my last dime, God provided for me. God is just a good God. Hallelujah. When I was in darkness, he brought me to the light. He saved my soul. He made me whole. Yeah. And I'm so glad he did. I'm so glad he did. Hey, who wouldn't serve a God? Who wouldn't serve a God? <laughs> uh, who wouldn't serve a God that is so good to us all? Hallelujah. And we come this morning to give him praise. I said we come. That, that's why I came. I came to give him praise. Uh, I, I came to give him the glory. My Lord and my God. Yeah, I came to give him honor. Yeah, because he is just so good to me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. My Lord, hallelujah. God, I pray. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I praise you. Whew. Thank God. Thank God. It's good to see you all in the presence in the house of God just one more time. Truly, God is a good God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Give an honor to God, to our pastor, Bishop Isaiah Anderson. To his wife, praise God and family. We thank God for them on today. Praise God. To Elder Hell, thank God for him and Minister Scott and his wife. Praise God. To Elder Furtick and his wife in their absence. Praise God. Deacon Brew in his absence. Praise God. To all our brothers, to all of our mothers, Mother Moore. And praise God. All that work along with her on the motherboard. Praise God for them. All of our sisters and brothers, the, the household of faith, those that are online. Praise God. Praise God. We just thank God for everything. And I said, I, I don't know. I just thank him for everything. <laughs> My God, everything. And the song said, he's everything to me. Hallelujah. God has been everything. Hallelujah. Where would I be if it had not been? Uh, <laughs> where would I be if it had not been for the Lord? <laughs> my god on my side when you look for others to be on your side praise god they backed up but god said i would never leave you no i will forsake you i'm gonna be with you all the way my god and god has been all the way with me hallelujah hallelujah my god and i just praise him for it praise god remembering the word of god on yesterday we thank god for our pastor how he brought forth the word yeah god and he brought something out, praise God, that just touched me. Praise God, the whole word, praise God. But when he started talking about how good God is, my Lord, and, 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 and when we should praise him at all time, oh, and when we should thank him at all time. I thank him for waking me up this morning. I thank him for starting me on my way. I thank him for healing my body. I thank him for providing for me. I thank him for his goodness. I thank him for his mercy. I thank him for salvation. He's everything to me. And I come to thank him. <laughs> I come to thank him. I come to thank him. My God, when you know that you know that you know where God has brought you from. 
My God, how God has provided for you a way out of no way. I mean, no way. I couldn't see my way, but God, but God made the way hmm. out of no way. And that's why we come to give him praise. And we come to testify of his goodness to his people. God is good to us. We got to be witness to others. Let them know, <laughs> my God, that God is a good God. And we just thank him on today for all that he's done and all uh, that he is doing. It's good to be saved. It's just good to be saved. It's good to be in the truth. The truth. Uh, it's the truth of God. <laughs> For it's the truth that's going to make you free. There ain't nothing else but the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for thank being God. in the truth. Thank Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. I want to draw your attentions on this morning to 1 Corinthians. Praise God. The 12th chapter. And the 14th. Uh, verse 12 and 14. Yeah. Let's I'll stand for the reading of the word of God. Hallelujah. We ought to come rejoicing. Amen. <laughs> we ought to just come rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said we ought to just come rejoicing when you yes. know that you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who God is. Yes, Lord. We ought to come in rejoicing. Yes, Lord. And give him give him the praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna start at the fourteenth, twelve and fourteenth, and it reads, For the body is not one member, but many. For the body is not one member, but many. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy unto us. God, we thank you for all things. Oh God, hallelujah. We thank you again for this day. For this is a day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, oh God, for everything that has gone forth. Oh God, now, oh God, it's time for your word, Lord. Feed us until we want no more, oh God. Let us be hearers of your word, oh God, and do us, oh God, in these last and evil days. Give us a word today, Lord. Oh God, hallelujah. Feed us, oh God, until we want no more, oh God. As I stand before your people, give it to me, oh God. And I'll serve it to your people, oh God. Oh God, that we may hear, oh God, and walk, oh God, according to truth, oh God. For it's the truth, oh God. Hey yeah, God, that's going to make us free, oh God. And if we live right, hallelujah heaven belongs to us god we thank you for these people on today and for those that are online in the precious name of jesus christ we pray and all god's people say amen amen, amen. amen. first corinthians 12 and 14 for the body is not one member but many you may be seated for the body Is not one member, but many. Uh, for the body, I want that to sink in. For the body is not one member, but many. But many. One more time. For the body, the body is not one member but many here Paul is praise God writing church at praise God Corinth yes. and we thank God for his men servants as I read over in 1 Corinthians, pray with me, will you? As I read over in 
First Corinthians 1 and, and 1 talks about Paul. Mm, Paul. The first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. Paul called to be an apostle of what? Jesus Christ through the will of God. We look here at this man's servant and we look at this first verse him being the called. <laughs> to be who he is. An apostle. The man of God. And Sophilus, our brother. Second verse. Unto the church of God. Unto the church of God. He's called to be an apostle unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. Mm -hmm. To them that are sanctified yes. Thank you, in Christ Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Called to be saints. With all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Called to be saints. Paul is called by the will unto the church called that are sanctified in Christ Jesus called to be saints. That's Paul's job. We all have a job. Paul is the apostle. You the saints. <laughs> he come to edify the church. Paul comes to warn, give warning, to encourage huh, the body of Christ. There's only one body. There's only one body. It says that for the body is not one member, but many. But Paul writes to the Corinthians over in 1 and 10. He says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there is no divisions. Where is the division coming from? Where is the division coming from? Yes. Paul says, And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let Amen. this mind, that the mind of Christ be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. But where is the division coming from? We Paul is called uh, by the will of God unto the church that yeah. are sanctified, right. called to be saints. We all have a place. He said, but there's contentions in the church. 
in the body. Uh, in the body, there is contentions. But he is saying that we ought to be perfectly joined together in the body. Together in the same mind, in the same judgment. But the 11th verse said, For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Yes. Where is the contentions coming from? When I drop down to the 13th verse, it says, is Christ divided? Question. Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but by what, Christmas and gave us. One body. There's only one body, saints. We are one body with many members. What's happening to the body of Christ today? What's happening to the body? If you would turn over to 12 and 12, we talk about the body of Christ. Uh, we are in God's body. <laughs> and in God's body are many members. Uh, the 12th verse says, For as the body is one, and have many members, and all the members of that one body is being many, are one body. So also is Christ. We are the body of Christ. Amen. We are one. Yes. Yes. Praise God. For by one spirit. Oh, Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying about this oneness? Amen. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Amen. Whether we be Jews or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. One. If I would turn over to Ephesians 4 and 5, it says, One Lord. Where are we getting this confused at? <laughs> There's only one body. There's only one Lord. Yes. Hey. There's only yes. one faith. Yes. <laughs> Why are we getting this thing confused? <laughs> There's only one baptism. One. 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 You were baptized into one. Amen. The oneness of God. There's only one body. Yes, but somehow the church, so-called church apostolic, you know, those that call themselves holy, Mm, are getting this thing mixed up, yes. confused. I know why, because they're not following the doctrine, the word of God. Yes. Yes. They have stepped outside of the word of God. Amen. Yes. Yeah. But yes. my Bible tells me, Ephesians 4, he said, but only one Lord. Right. One. There's only one faith. Yes. And there's only one baptism. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Saints, we got to keep. The unity of the spirit alive. Amen. Huh? It's up to us to keep it alive. Yes. Huh? We can't have contentions in the church, in the body of Christ. Come on. We got to work with each other in the body of Christ. There's only one way to God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And if you have the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if you're walking according to the spirit and not the flesh, you will be in the one body. Amen. One body. We won't have these contentions 
in the church. If I start at uh, Ephesians 4, 1, he said, Out there for the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that, 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 that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, for bearing one another in love. Mm -hmm. Look at this next verse, the third. Endeavoring huh? to keep what? The unity of what? The spirit in the bond of peace. Where is the peace? In the body. One body. Where is the peace? Uh, the fourth verse says, for, for there is, says it again, one body. <laughs> for there is one body and one spirit. Huh? Y'all with me? One one, one. Yes. How many of you have the Spirit of God? Amen. How many of you have the baptism in Jesus' name? Yes. How many of you are filled with the precious gift, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, and it's living down on the inside yes. of you? Well, where is the contention coming from? Where is the peace in God's house? Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm hmm. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called into one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. Yeah. One God and Father of all. How are we getting this messed up? How are we getting this confused? It says one God and Father of all. Who is above all, through all, and in you all. Is he in you? Is he in you? This one body. Yeah, my subject is from the 14th verse, the whole verse. For the body is not one member. Hmm but many. The question is, the 15th verse, if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, uh-huh, if the foot, somebody stomp your foot, if the foot say, <laughs> huh? Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Mm. Amen. Amen. It is therefore not of the body. Mm -hmm. The 16th verse. And if my people <laughs> who are called by my name, that's what you read this morning, if, if, Amen. if. And if the ear, somebody touch your ear. <laughs> Come on, feel that ear. You feel your ear? If the ear is on the body, you know. If the ear, uh -huh. and if the ear shall say, uh, <laughs> because I am not the eye. Huh? Y'all got eyes? Yeah, if the ear say, I am not the eye, mm. what it say? Am I not? Pick it up and read it for me, Elder. Am I not of the body? Am I not of the body? Huh? So what do we have? We have the hands, we have the feet, we have the ear. It's on your body, right? Yeah. One body. We are the body of Christ. Yes, we are. With many members. Yes, we are. Huh? We 
are perfectly as the body of Christ joined together. We're supposed to be anyway. Amen. <laughs> if you're in the body. Yes. Read, Elder, what verse you at? Mm -hmm. 15. 16. 16. Because if. Mm -hmm. I am not the eye, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. Okay, read. 17. If the whole if, wait a minute, let's do it. If, 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 still dealing with if, 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 duh, read it. Whole body were an eye. If the whole body were an eye, read. Where were the hearing? Where were the hearing? Amen. You just walking around with an eye? Huh? You just walking around with a hand? Just the feet? That's a disconnected body. Your members are all over the place. But we are the body of Christ. We are one body. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. The spirit is in us. We have to operate in the spirit. <laughs> is the eye walking around by itself? It's the feet by itself. It's the hand by itself. We are one body, church. Amen. Read, sir. If the whole were hearing, if the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? Amen. Huh? Can you smell? It's important. That's right. Huh? If you have your senses. Smell. Mm -hmm. huh? right. You smell that good food. You smell that good cooking. It's a part of the body. It all works together. It's perfectly joined, fitted together. That's how we're supposed to be. Perfectly joined and fitted together. Working as one in one body. One spirit. In one Lord. There's only one faith. There's only one baptism. In the body. With many members. We got to work together. The membership has to work together. Yeah. The membership has to come together as one. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Hey, go back to uh, uh, one and one for me. Paul, go back to Paul for me. First Corinthians one and one. What did it say? One and one. Paul. What did it say? Who, who, who is Paul? What did it say? Paul. Who is Paul? Paul. Paul. Called to be an apostle. He's what? Called. To Paul be an apostle. Is, apostle, is, is called to be the apostle. We have one leader. Amen. You the saints. Paul is the apostle. Yes. Huh? The <laughs> you the saints. Amen. You have your place. Yes. The ministry up here has their place. Stay in your place. Yes. <laughs> Stay where God has called you to. Paul is the apostle. Yes. 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 But we all fitly joined together in one spirit. But, 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 but pastor is the pastor. <laughs> Ain't but one pastor. Ain't but one leader. You can't leave from the pulpit. You can't leave from the pulpit. We only have but one. Paul is the apostle. The call. It, all of it falls on him. What else did it say? Apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of Wait a God. minute. And he's the apostle. He's the man of God of Jesus Christ. He's been called by God. Thank you, Lord. Our shepherd has been called by God. You've been called, but you've been called to be a saint. He ain't give you no authority like he gave Paul. Like he gave a shepherd, the pastor. Stay in your place. You have a place. Your place is your place. Paul is the apostle called by God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The man of God is called by him. You ain't vote him in. You ain't put him in. He's been called by a high power. Huh? He's been called by a higher 
uh, uh, power. <laughs> if you could wear Paul's shoes, if you could wear the shepherd's shoes, ah, uh, my Lord and my God, huh? Then the, your, your your shoes uh, probably would burn off your feet. Because you don't have the, with all, uh, the stand, uh, like God has called the man of Adam, 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 like God has called the man of God to stand. You ought to just stand in your place where you have been called. Stay out of the pulpit. This ain't your calling. Adam, 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 you've been called by God. Ain't but one. We got too many pew preachers, choir stand preachers, pulpit preachers. It ain't but one been called. Ain't but one been called. Yeah. My Lord and my God. I want you to get this. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will. Of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I don't know, Pastor, when he called you. <laughs> Late in the morning, early at night, <laughs> while you were driving down the street, or I feel like running to here. Whether you was on your job, I don't know when he called you, but I know he called you. <laughs> uh, to be a man of God, <laughs> called by the will of God. Yeah, my Lord and my God. The anointing of God is on a man of God. It ain't on the same. It's on a man of God to lead God's people. Through the valley, through the shadow of death, to pray for you, to lay hands on you, to cast out those demons. Hallelujah. It's only one man of God. The body fitly joined together. Uh -huh. Perfectly joined together. Only one called. <laughs> my Lord and my God. The only way you're going to be blessed is following the called. Uh, following your leader. Following your shepherd. Ah, not following the saints. God ain't called you to nothing. Follow your pastor. That's where your blessing gonna come from. That's where your deliverance is gonna come from. That's where your way gonna be made from. That's where your healing gonna come from. It's gonna come through the man of God by laying hands on you. Uh, if you follow the man of God, it shall be well. Uh, he said, I'll give you pastors to feed you. I don't think a saint is a pastor. I don't think the saints can feed you. I'll give you a pastor that will feed you. A pastor going to feed you. Sit down at the table. Open up the word of God. And let the man of God feed it to your bosom. Hey, God, I give glory. Let him feed the word of God into my Lord and my God. Sit down at the table. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. We got people in the church on different diets. But the saints uh, trying to feed them. You can't feed them. I got somebody to feed them. And I, he's been called. <laughs> he's been chosen by God. Ah, God, hallelujah. If you just lean, my God, not to your own understanding, but if you just lean on God, if you lean on the word of God, in the word of God, there is a hiding place. You won't be going through all that hell you're going through if you obey the man of God. Some of that stuff is your fault. Some of that stuff you're going through is because of you. If you, my Lord and my God, if you get in the will of God, if you stay in your place as a saint of God, my Lord, and let the man of God do what God called him to do, it shall be well. You've been called to be a saint. 
That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. You are saved. My Lord and my God. The house of God, the body of Christ, will be more fitly joined together if you just mind your business. If you just stayed in your place. Oh, my Lord and my God. If you a deacon, be a deacon. If you a mother, be a mother. If you a sister, just be a sister. If you a brother, be a brother. If you an evangelist, be an evangelist. If you a minister, be a minister. Whatever you've been called to, stay in your place. Yeah. We God, uh, God is, is trying to get his people together. Yes. We're supposed to be already fitted and joined together in one mind and, and one spirit, you see. Uh-huh. Uh, but, 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 but what's happening is uh, we self-willed. <laughs> that self-willed and that self willed and stepped in. Uh, somehow, I don't know where you're getting it from. Well, I do know you. You're listening to the, 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 the enemy, the devil. You of all uh, the devil. You're listening to him. Uh, see, he, he done creeped in and started feeding you a uh, little bit by little bit. Uh, what do you call it? Bits? Chicken bits? Uh, yeah, he started feeding you bits. And you start eating bits. Uh huh. And, and, and you start eating from, from one another, you see. <laughs> you want that? <laughs> no, I don't want it. You can have it. <laughs> uh, you want this? <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> you, 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 you can have it. Instead of you being fed by, uh, your shepherd, <laughs> instead of you being fed by the man of God, called by God, uh, uh you wanna get, you wanna be fed by the saints. And God ain't told the saints nothing. <laughs> and he just told you to be obedient to them that have rule over you. Obey them that have rule over you. That's what he calls you to do. Die, we can move if you be obedient to the man of God. We can go somewhere if you be obedient to the man of God. Yes. My Lord and my God. Uh, we have become a divided people. Huh? Because we have taken our eyes off of, uh, of our, our leader. <laughs> We've taken our eyes off the, the shepherd. And we're supposed to be followers of him. Uh, but, 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 but somehow, can I hit it? <laughs> Uh, you, 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 you grew up and somehow I, uh, you, uh, you got, uh, back to the self will again. You, you got self willed and, 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 and you, you, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't respect God like you, you say you respect God. Uh, you don't love God like you, you say you love God. Uh, cause, cause if you love God, you will keep his commandments. You see, if you love God, uh, you'll make love to him. Uh, if you love of God, you will seek to please God. And when you displease God, you will come back and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I want to stay in your will. I want to stay in your way, Lord. Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Yeah. Not, not, not my will, Lord. We walking in our will. You got to come out of your will and get in God's will. Every wind and sound of doctrine, you run it. Huh? You listening to, to other folks, but you're supposed to have your ear to the pastor. Uh, you're supposed to have your ear to the man of God. You ain't gonna get by this. God called the man of God. Can I read it again? I said, Paul called. Called to be an apostle. <laughs> Call to be. If you just fall in line, if you just fall in place, if you stop being driven by yourself, that self will. I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna go when I wanna go. I'm gonna pray when I wanna pray. I wanna fast when I wanna fast. I'm going to church when I wanna go to church. I don't care what pastors say. I ain't coming to church. 
I ain't coming to church. And when you stop coming to church, yeah, 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 you'll still go out them doors. Uh, well, once upon a time, you was hot as fire. Oh God, you sought the Lord uh, with all your heart, soul, your mind, and spirit. You wanted to do the things of God. Uh, you had an appetite for the things of God. But somewhere along the way, that self will kicked in. Uh, that self will took over. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, uh, but you ain't gonna make it. <laughs> you got to stay on fire for the Lord. After the Holy Ghost come upon you, you should have power. But with that power is obedience. You come with obedience to the man of God. You line up with the man of God. You don't go against the man of God. You stand with the man of God. Yeah. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Pastor Bishop Isaiah Anderson called to be the pastor of the Bible Church. Some of you may not like it. Some of you may not care too much about it. Some of your backstabbers, my Lord, hallelujah, you threw a banana peel out there. I hope he slip and break his neck. I hope he just die so we can move on with the Bible church. But God got your number. I say God got your number and he know who you are. You ain't going to get away because he's an all seeing God. Ah, he sits high and he looks low. He see right where you're sitting. When you mean it for his bad, you ain't never going to out slick the man of God. Never. You ain't never going to outsmart the man of God. Never. It might look like it. <laughs> it may look like it. But 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 it won't happen. The division. This is the body of Christ. And if there's division in the house, it's got to be among us. We the one that causes the division. It's in the, it's in the body. Well, who are you? Uh-huh. We, we are perfectly, fairly joined. Huh? Huh? You a saint. You a saint. Huh? We, we got to go back to 12 and where you drop off over there uh, contentions in the church uh, is it you uh, you the I you by yourself right it's just you uh, me myself and I like God didn't call you to something God ain't called you to nothing but to follow the man of God that's all he called you to do. Huh? You'll come in the house. You'll be obedient. I, I declare if you'll be obedient to the man of God, my God, that you're going to see some things in your life, some signs and wonders. My God going to make some ways out of no way. All you got to do is just follow the man of God. You see, because God is the one that's speaking to him about you. Uh, I don't know what the, the, the other saint then told you, but don't believe the lie. You better stay with the man of God. The one that God is talking to. I don't know what time in the morning he's getting up or, or how late he lie down. But God is talking to him about you. God is talking to him about you. See? Some are hiding. You think you're hiding. But God looking right at you. I'm going to tell you just like it is. Get that knife out your hand and out the pastor back. The body. After all, God has, has saved us. Wonderfully saved us. We all was come from somewhere. <laughs> different. When God called the disciples, they came from different walks of life. 
Huh? We all come from a, a different, but sin is sin, you see. But we all come from different walks of life. Huh? Yes. But God, what God? Huh? he saw where you were. <laughs> I don't know when, when, when he called you. I don't know. Now. I'm just saying, wherever, wherever you were, God called you out of that. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Yes. To what? Yes. To save. And I don't know who wouldn't be excited about being saved. Yes. This life is just so good. Yes. <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean, I mean I, the world, I know y'all say uh, that you have this and that, but I have that and more that is righteous. Uh, uh, the tests and trials going to come. But God, but God, but God, he said he'll deliver you out of every one of them. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, God sees you and God will bring you out. Say that wait on the Lord. She'll renew. God is going to strengthen you. You got to wait on it. But he hasn't forgotten you. That's why you ought to praise him. That's why you ought to give him the glory. That's why you ought to give him the honor. Never mind me praising him. I'm praising him for what he's done for me. You ought to praise him for what he's doing for you. That's why I'm praising him. He healed my body. That's what you said yesterday. When they get up in the morning, I'm walking around the house, almost every step I take, I tell God thank you. That's true, Pastor. When I get up in the morning and I open up my eyes, I just say thank you. I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What are you thanking him for? What are you thanking God for? What are you thanking him for today? What are you thanking him for this morning? God been good to you? Well, why are you thanking him? Why isn't there a praise in your mouth? Why isn't there a praise in your hand? In your feet? This house ought to be on fire. Uh, got to move. Got to move. I got to say it again. Pastor, that thing was so good. You hit that thing so hard. Because that was me. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. I promise you. When I open my eyes, I say thank you. When I get on my knees, I say thank you. When I walk through my house, I say thank you. This morning, I walked outside, I opened the door, I looked around, I said thank you. Huh? Turn the water on, I said thank you. The light, thank you. I went outside and got in the car to thank you. <laughs> he brought me over the highway. <laughs> I, 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 I went to Starbucks, I said, thank you. <laughs> when I came in the door, I got on my knees, I said, thank you. <laughs> I can't take none of this for granted. <laughs> because if it had not been for God, who is on my side, Lord, I just say thank you. <laughs> Lord, I got to stay down humble before you. Lord, I got to stay down. I got to say low down before the feet of Jesus. It was God that brought me. Think of my son of I couldn't bring myself. It was God that brought me out of darkness. Brought me out of sin. It was God. You can't save me. You can't heal me. You can't deliver me. It's only God that can heal me. It's only God that can save me. It's only God that can bring me out. It's only God that can make a way out of no way. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. I'm only standing 
in here. Right here. Wayne Palmer. I'm standing right here. Because of God. I said because of God. Because of God. I'm in South Carolina. Because of God. I'm at the Bible church because of God. I can't take it for granted. I can't take it for granted. I got to stay humble before the mighty God. Whatever I have, whatever I got, Robert is God. Who wouldn't serve a God? Everything is God. I can't sit comfortable in the church, Pastor. I can't just sit like this. Uh, I can't sit like this. Uh, I, I just can't. I ain't satisfied sitting like that. <laughs> I ain't satisfied just sitting here with my legs crossed. <laughs> Let go preach, you preach. Just, just while you preach, preach, just satisfy. Uh-uh. Our God's too good to me. If you don't praise him, I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I said, I got to praise him. Uh, there's a place we got to we got to get in our minds in our hearts, in our spirit we got to have the spirit of God if, 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 if you have the spirit of God that's how you know there's contentious in the church because people are not operating in the spirit of God and it's self will, you're too self will you got to let your will go and get in the will of God there is a divine order Paul and apostle The order to this, yes, sir. and right now where you sit, if you're out of order, you ought to get in order. Yes, Those online, if you're out of order. Yes, you can't, you you can't do church from home. You 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 cannot do church. Who want to do church from home? No, Who? Amen. In your right mind. I understand if you're sick, then you call on the elder church. They come out. But who want to sit at home? Yes, I was in D.C. watching the program. Uh, over and over again, praise God, Tuesday night services and, and, and Sunday night services. And, and I'm telling you, I'm standing in my kitchen uh, sometimes just cooking and, and I couldn't take it. I, I just couldn't stand it. Uh, I hear the choir singing and, and I, I hear the praises going up. And, 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 and I just didn't feel comfortable. I, I wanted to jump in the phone and, and, and be in the midst of, of the service. But, 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 but by God... <laughs> I said, but God turned that thing around and look at me now. I'm at the Bible church. I'm, 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 I'm here on Sunday. Ah, oh, my Lord and my God. <laughs> I'm here on Sunday. I'm, I'm here on Tuesday. I'm here on Thursday night prayer. I'm in the house now. <laughs> and I don't have to have the desire no more to want to be there. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. And I'll just tell you, I, I, I'm here. I, I want to testify that to you. I, I'm here because of God. And, and, and it gets to your spirit. I, it got to get to a man of God, the pastor's spirit. When y'all sit there all comfortable, all wrapped up and tied up in yourself, you on your phones, you, you, you bring your blankets and you bring your lunch and, and you bring your homework and you bring all that stuff to church. When you both enter, uh, words of that, into his courts with thanksgiving, Given. See, you too self will. You ain't got no praise for God. You ain't fooling nobody. God ain't in you. You ain't letting it work in you. Because the Holy Ghost don't act like that. Self will. You don't come to church and sit back and be all comfortable. Huh? 
No, y'all got the wrong God. If your God is dead, try mine. He's still alive. Oh, I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. You're shortcutting God. You got to stop shortcutting God. God huh, wants to bless you. God wants to bless you. Huh? Yeah, he, he, he wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. Get rid of that attitude. Uh, get rid of that stubbornness. But look at yourself right where you sit lord am i stubborn yes you are you don't even ask you already know look at the man in the mirror lord is it i lord is it me oh god am i giving you the praise am i giving you the glory am i obedient to the word am i following the shepherd am i following the man of god if you say no to all of that you need to be right here you need to be right here Time is winding up. I said time is winding up. I, 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 we just we just pray. We just fasting and praying for these self-willed people. These folks that don't have a mind to serve God. You don't have a mind to come in God's house and give God the praise when God has been good to you. One day, listen to me, one day you're going to be short. You're going to be short. Huh? You're going to be on the wrong side of God. And God going to take you out of here. God going to cut you down. What, what, what happened to holes in your pockets? Uh, car key breaking down. Uh, why, why, why am I sick? Why, why my family sick? My children sick? Why is all this coming uh, 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 upon me? Look back at the man of God and say, am I coming and doing the will of God? Am I obedient to God first? Because if you're obedient to God, you're going to obey the man of God. Ain't no way around that. Don't do this. Don't do that. You do it. God, you, you think God is blind? I got to get out of here. You think God is blind? Huh? You come in with the short dresses on? Huh? You come in with the earrings on. You come in with the lipstick and stuff on. Uh -huh. Think you slicking the man of God. <laughs> Amen. But you're not doing it under him. Lord. You're doing it unto God. God. Right. You ain't slicking the man of God. Right. Amen. Huh? Right. What happened to the Holy Ghost? What happened to that spirit that will lead you and guide you into all truth? Ain't nobody got to police you. You got to police yourself. You know that you're wrong. You know that you ain't right. So you're bringing division in the body of Christ. God gonna start cutting off limbs. Because you cannot hinder God's work. You got to get out of that mindset. And get the mind of God. Huh? What is a Bible church? I, I'm not finished, but I'm finished. What is a Bible church? <laughs> what is a Bible church? Huh? Huh? A church of, of Jesus Christ, a, a, a church that loves, a sanctified church, a holy church, a hand clapping, a foot stomping, a church that is desiring to do the will of God, a church that is striving to make not 99, but 100 in God. That's a Bible church. That's, that, that's desiring to do the will of God. You got to make up in your, the choice is yours. You got to make up in your mind that you're going to be obedient to God. And the word of God. And the man of God. And to those that have rule over you. You got work to do. You got work to do. Saints, we could move. We're going to move anyway. <laughs> but we can move further. If everybody become jointly fitted together. Mm -hmm. Huh? Perfectly joined together. Right, because 1 Corinthians again 12 and 14 says, 
uh, 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 for the body is not one member. <laughs> It's not, it's not one, one member, Amen. but it's many. Amen. You are a member of this body, uh, but, but what are you contributing to the body? Amen. Are you hindering or trying to hinder the body? Uh, huh? are, are, you, are you going against uh, the man of God? Huh? Uh, are, are you obedient to the man of God? Uh, see, you can do better when you obey the man of God. You can do better uh, uh, when you come in the house of God and, and you serve God. You, you, you serve him. Huh? When the song is going, you clap your hands. You stop your feet. You sing praise and glory unto God. Amen. Hey, glory. Glory. We give honor to the our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank God for all things, especially for the word. Amen. Came from Elder Palmer. I didn't know what he was going to preach today. You know, when I saw that the Lord had blessed me to be pastor of the Bible Church, I gathered my family together, my Lord. and we had a little meeting, and I had to say a few things to them, amen. I said, don't defend me, amen, because sometimes people are going to say, uh, always, always something to say about pastors, amen. I'm the conversation around many dinners today. You're going to be the conversation. <laughs> amen. You're, 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 amen. And I'm the conversation, the pastor. Amen. And I pull my wife together and uh, my family. I say, y'all stay out of the ministry. I'm the one that's called. I'm going to buffer y'all from all this stuff that goes on. Because you won't be able to handle it because you, God didn't give you the grace to handle it. Amen. I can handle it because of the grace that was given unto me. Amen. Amen. When I have something to, to send forth to the ministry, I call these. We have a text, amen, message group. Amen. And I will let them know that we doing this or we doing that. Amen. I don't go to my wife and send my wife. No, sir. Praise God to them. Amen. I tell them because this ministry, ministry. You know, I was talking to a deacon. He's at another church. He say. Bishop, I'm going to tell you, some of these first lady have more authority than the assistant pastor. Amen. They have the authority. God didn't meant for it to be that way. Amen. You don't see Peter wife called first lady and running the church and running amen. things and all amen. this other stuff amen, amen. My Lord. and sometimes they get mad at me when I don't call them first lady because when I go to other church I just call them mother or sister or whatever because that's what the scriptures say and you can see the looks on their face <laughs> amen but we got to go by what scriptures say amen. amen I thank and praise God for that you know somebody um, a while back to tell me, they told me, you're going to pour in the people. You're becoming a pastor. You're going to pour in the people. And they're going to act like they've never known you. Amen. They're going to they're gonna be in the pulpit. Two years later, they're gone. 
they, you know, all these different things that they, they had told me, amen, that was going to happen. And that was, I, I can say today that that is a true prophecy. Amen. Praise God. Like they never know you. Amen. So we just thank and praise God. Amen. For the word of God. Amen. But God tell me, I was praying one day. Amen. Down on my knees. No, I was actually laying down, laying down on my face. And the Lord said, he told me, amen, you just tell the people who I am. Just tell the people who I am, and I'll take care of the rest. Praise God. Tell the people who I am, and I will take care of the rest. Praise God. So. Amen. So, saints of God, we thank and praise God for that message today. Lord, have mercy. Glory. Amen. And I get it from all in, all over the world. They call me up. One guy cursed me out. Say, F you. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Pray for him. That's right. He called back about a week later. Say, I mean, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, I didn't mean to curse you out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I got to stand regardless Hallelujah. of who yes. like it and who yes. don't like it. Yes. Yes. You got to stand regardless yes. of who like it and who don't like it. Amen. Amen. I got to, amen, keep my focus on Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I got to keep my focus on him. And souls, I got to keep my focus on souls. Their souls want to be saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. As a matter of fact, we had three baptisms in, um, in Africa this morning. Praise God. Amen. Souls got to be saved. Amen. They got some lined up, praise God, in India to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They got some lined up, praise God, in Pakistan ready to be baptized. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We got people that want to join in with the Bible church. I talk about uh, in other countries. I told him, now, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to talk. We got to do some talk. We got to be, amen, in the, in the doctrine of Christ. Yes. They got to be in the doctrine of Christ. Amen. And if they're not in the doctrine of Christ, we will tell them what it would take to get them in the doctrine of Christ. Amen. amen. So we thank and praise God for the message on today. I said we want to stand. Would there be one for water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of of their sins, the promises that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Will there be one for water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Hallelujah to God. They that is born, they must be born of the water and of the Spirit. Amen. Will there be one for baptism? If not, somebody need deliverance or healing. Praise God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You may come at this time. Amen. We ask the choir to give us some songs.
Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad they prayed. Oh, I'm so glad they prayed. Yes, I'm so glad they prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. Had me, had me on Took the time to pray. Oh, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. The pastor prayed, had me on his mind. Took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Had me on their mind. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray. Took the time to pray for me. Had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. The members pray for me. Had me on their mind, took the time to pray. For me, oh, I'm so, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Oh. I'm so glad, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. Somebody pray, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Somebody pray, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. Somebody pray, on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for all things. Amen. We thank and praise God. Amen. For his goodness and for his mercy. Oh, because God is good. Amen. So we thank God, amen, for all things. Amen. And uh, again, we have a quick meeting at the church about a half an hour. Amen. That should only, the meeting should only last about one and a half an hour. Um, unless you got something you want to bring up. Amen. But we thank God for all things. Amen. We ask all of the saints of God to continue to pray. Amen. For one another. For one another. Amen. We thank God for you. Yes, Lord. And at this time, we're going to have final words and benediction from Ella Palmer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all. We thank God thank for you, Lord. Praise God, his word. His word is truth and his word is life. Father, Uplift your hands. Father, we thank you again for this service. We thank you, O oh God, from the beginning to the end. God, we thank you for all that you've done and all that was done. O oh God, that you may get the glory and the honor. We thank you for the word. Help us to live by Oh, God, your word, not just be his, but do us of your word. As we depart from this place, but not from thy presence, go and be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people say amen. 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 amen.